Lawmakers are searching for a solution to traffic and accidents on Interstate 81. One bill introduced by Senator Mark Obenshane proposes conducting a study of the effects of adding tolls for long-haul trucks. Monica Casey spoke with a local business owner about the effect that those tolls could have on her drivers. Monica? The Virginia Department of Transportation has reported a 12% increase in traffic on I-81 around Harrisonburg in the past five years. Delays have also increased by 55%. Widening the road would cost 10 to $15 million for every mile of pavement. The Senate unanimously passed Senator Obenshane's bill to study truck tolls along I-81. We're going to look at tolls on long-haul heavy trucks that travel the length of Virginia and uh, explore whether that can be done in a manner that isn't going to hurt our economy. I think tolls need to be imposed on everyone, not just the trucks. JKC Transport has been in business for 19 years. And we travel the I-81 route every day. Five drivers travel up to 300 miles around Virginia, Maryland, and Pennsylvania. A toll can be anywhere from $48 to $78. Tolls wouldn't just affect truck drivers. That cost is passed down to um, the supplier we're hauling for. So then it will be added to the freight cost and back into the consumer. You have larger trucking companies in there, but the smaller business guys come in and take over what some of the larger ones can't necessarily take care of. Avoiding 81 isn't an option thanks to electronic logging devices that force drivers to use the most time-sensitive route. I have a family, just like my truck drivers have a family, and if you tax the trucks, it comes off my bottom line, whereas it affects bonuses, pay raises, um, to help out my driver's families. Amy Fung suggested Virginia follow the lead of Tennessee to raise money for road improvements. Police officers use an undercover semi as a perch to spot texters and violators and then mail them tickets.